What's going on ladies and gents welcome back to a brand new video. This is web dev journey and today we're going to be implementing cookies and sessions. Okay, it's going to be a fast video because we should know cooking a session from this point, but I will explain why we actually need them. And I found a good little form on Google, I, not a form, but a little diagram in Google, big Google pics or photos right here. And it's basically for uh, authorization or to not, not authorization to, um, authenticate a actual user so how cookies and sessions actually work so when you send in a post request for a login with the form data uh we're going to create a session with the user inside of that and we're going to save that uh session id with the user info inside a database and we're going to send back a session id of whatever and when it goes back to the client side is actually going to uh save it in a cookie with the ID equal to one, two, three, whatever the ID was of that session. And now every time we want to, what's it called? Authenticate a user. Let's say that they want to go to slash get account. Well, we want to send back the correct user. So the cookie with the ID of one, two, three is going to be sent to the server. We're going to find that server or we're going to find that user with that session ID. And then once we find it, we're going to send back that user to the, to the client and thus authenticating the correct user with cookies and sessions. Now in this, in this little diagram, we are going to want to save it in inside of the browser, which is going to be our cookies. And we want to save our sessions inside of a database. Okay. So that way we could authenticate them like that. But this is basic. This is a basic diagram. I got lucky. I found it, but let's actually implement it, implement it right now. So we are going to need to install a few modules dash dash save. One is going to be cookie parser, same parser, uh, just like the body parser, which parses out our form data, cookie parser parses out our cookies. Next up is our session management, which is we're going to be using express dash session. And lastly, how we're going to save it to Mongo is connect uh, Mongo. Now up here, let's require those. All right, right here, we're going to do cookie uh, parser. Cookie, oh, well, I could actually do cookie parser. There we go. Next up is our session, which we're going to use Oops, express session. Next up is our Mongo store. And we're going to be using connect. Let me actually connect Mongo. And for our connect Mongo, we're going to be passing in the session. So, and then next up is our mongoose because we need to pass in the, the mongoose connection to our Mongo store as well. So that way it has that connection to actually get inside of our database. Now let's actually put these into use. Oh. App.use uh, cookie parser. That one is pretty simple. Nothing, nothing too exciting right there. And then app.use session. And we do need to pass in some configs or some data or sorry, some configurations. First one is the secret. It's whatever you want. So I'm just putting them some random, a random string. Next stop is our resave. So that way we could keep our session alive. So we're gonna set this to true. Next is our save initialize. We're gonna set this false. So that way we don't have any uh if we didn't if we don't if we have this as true which if we had it as true sorry i was about to burp oh i just did if we have this true we're gonna have empty objects in our database which we don't want so we're going to set this as false and then lastly but not least our store and this is where where are we going to actually uh save it at or what store are we going to use to save and we're going to use a new instance of our mongo store passing in our mongoose connection mongoose.connection 
and there we go now for you to actually see what's going on we're like visually visually not verbally we're going to do something right here so what we're going to be doing is saying rec dot session dot visits and we're going to be setting this equal to and we're going to use tenary op, uh, operator here so we're going to say and we have this so we don't have this visits property right now in our session so we're going to say that hey if there is a visit property what we want to do is just increment that by one if there isn't we're going to initialize it as just setting up as one so now every time a session happens we're going to increment it or just set it as one for initialization now we're going to add a breakpoint right here so that way we could actually see what's going on and if i go to my debugger and run my debugger let me go to debug console and there we go is actually listening and let's go to our page just refresh once hopefully it works let me see it should work all right let's, let's just see what's going on here so it's hanging because we're in our debugger mode all right let's it's right here right now okay right now as you can see we have a cookie an id that's our session id and you have you know just the basic stuff now if we actually come to this line let's go over to the next line and we hover over this again you can see that we have visits right there as one which is correct because we never had a visit this is our first time we visited our application so we have visits as one let me just stop this right now and let's take a look at our database let's go to our database and if i refresh the page or refresh right here you're going to see right here in development we actually have something called sessions loading and we don't have nothing right now because obviously once uh we created we created a session but we never actually got to the point where we saved it which was right here so let's actually go back over here and let's run it just normally run it terminal um, npm run dev and let's go to our application refresh the page you know just refresh it that's two that's three maybe four times now let's go over here and refresh the page and as you can see right here now we have some data for our session which uh has an rd and expiration and our session cookie now let's take a look look at this it actually keeps track we actually did visit the page four times which is pretty awesome now we actually have a way to authenticate people with our id the session id and our cookies we could actually take a look at our cookies over here if you go to right here go to application and i already have it open let me open this a little bit more you see that right there we got cookies inside of storage cookies go inside of here and you can see that we have our session right there obviously it's encrypted because we added that secret so you're not going to see the exact same id over here you might get a glimpse of it like never mind i don't i don't know <laughs> ignore what i just said but anyways we do have a session right here and we also have it stored in our cookies as well as you can see right there and that's all we need so that way we could pass this session to our server and then authenticate that using our database seeing that hey this is exactly the same user and then pass the information back so that was it that was all we wanted to do in this video guys it was just implement cookies and sessions and save that session into our database so that way we go authenticate it later on in the next video we're going to be using passport so stick around with that i do hope you enjoyed this video guys and i Really do appreciate you spending your time watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Subscribe, hit that like button, and comment down below on what you thought about the video. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.